Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down the Week 7 stars that are going to win us money in our DFS lineups. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. 11 games on the slate, a lot of high over under. so let's jump right in. Let's get into it. You saw it on Monday night. Kyler Murray was electric. Even though he didn't really complete many passes, but you saw everything that Kyler Murray was able to do. Even without an awesome connection to DeAndre Hopkins, Murray still put up a ton of FanDuel points. This weekend, he's priced at $8,400, and he's once again set to have a big game. Absolutely. Like you said, last night we saw with 9, 10 completed passes, whatever it was for him, but we still saw him push towards almost 30 FanDuel points. And that's what he's seemingly doing every week with 23 FanDuel points or more in every single game. He has six rushing touchdowns on the season, which give him that upside. He has 10 passing touchdowns on the season. Well, a player that I'm basically projecting to go for three combined touchdowns every single week. And this week is something that we should that is something we should absolutely see going up against the Seahawks. We're allowing 25.7 FanDuel points per game to opposing quarterbacks. That is the second worst in the league. We have a phenomenal game environment up against the Seahawks. A 55 over under, a 25 implied team total for the Cardinals. I'm looking at another three combined touchdowns for Murray. Hopefully more passing yards this time, a little bit more consistency, but a star play nonetheless. It should be an offensive showdown between the Cardinals and the Seahawks this weekend. And Kyler Murray is going to have to hold up his end of the bargain with Russell Wilson. We'll see if Murray can get the job done, get more passing yards, raise that floor, and continue to dominate on FanDuel. Moving over to the running backs here, Tom. Let's go to a rested one, specifically Alvin Kamara, who's $9,300 for the Saints. And they needed this buy to kind of get that offensive rhythm. Not necessarily Kamara, who's been ridiculous, but the Saints offense as a whole. This week, you believe at least Kamara gets back on track. Exactly. And we have the Saints coming in rested. Uh, we know that Michael Thomas has been in and out of the lineup for various reasons, but we still see Kamara pushing towards 20 total touches, regardless if Thomas is in there or not. A fantastic matchup going up against the Panthers, who are allowing 28.4 fatal points per game to opposing running backs. We have a 29 implied team total for the Saints. Again, going with a home running back who sees close to 20 touches, who is a favorite at home, a 51 over under against the Panthers in the the dome always setting up to be these higher scoring environments in the NFC South. Kamara in a great spot here this week, back at home inside the Superdome. Michael Thomas is back, which opens up the offense even more. Michael, Michael Thomas is good news for Alvin Kamara, who we expect to still get over that 20 point mark here this week. And speaking of stars at the wide receiver position, we mentioned Michael Thomas, but there may be no bigger star than Devontae Adams. He's the final star piece that you're putting into your FanDuel lineup this week that we're building around here. Obviously, a rough performance for Green Bay against Tampa Bay in Week 6. Week 7, if they're going to turn it around, we need a lot more Aaron Rodgers to Devontae Adams. Yeah, the game against the Bucs was a bit all over the place, and I still think we can take something good from that when it comes to the Packers and Adams specifically. His first game back after uh, you know his injury, he saw 10 targets in that game, which was almost a 30% target share from Aaron Rodgers. We know this is his favorite receiver. You know, regardless if uh, you know Robert Tony is taking a step forward, they're bringing uh, St. Brown back from IR. We know MBS is still there. It doesn't matter who's out on the field. It's still Devontae Adams as the number one receiver for the Packers. We saw the ceiling he had in week one with 17 targets, 156 yards, and two touchdowns against the Vikings secondary. This is a spot where he can, I'm not going to say repeat that performance, but come close to it against the Texans, who are allowing 32.5 fatal points per game to opposing wide receivers. That is the ninth worst in the league. So we have an awesome uh, game environment, 56 over under, a bad defense really on both sides. So I'm looking at a higher scoring game, and I want all the Adams I can possibly get. All the Adams that you can possibly get. Sounds like a winning combination for me. Demonte Adams, uh, always a threat to go off. An angry Aaron Rodgers, a good matchup in a great spot. At $8,900, Demonte Adams is worth paying up for at the wide receiver position this weekend. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate your time. We'll talk to you again on Thursday. All right. See you later in the week. Those were the studs on Thursday. Tom and I will finish off the lineups with the value plays. But in between... Let's talk to Megan Nunez, who's going to give us her best bets for week number seven. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later in the week, right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.